All right, now just before the launch of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 series, we have received a brand new update for the Samsung Health Monitoring application. And that brings in a brand new feature which we are going to take a look at in this video. Let me just press and hold on the Galaxy Store and tap on Update Applications. As you can see here, we have got a brand new update for Samsung Health Monitor. Now on this application, we could measure the BP and ECG on the Galaxy watches and these features were made available a year ago. Now you can see at the bottom we've got blood pressure and ECG options. These two options were already available. Now with this all new update you can see in the description it talks about the sleep apnea feature as well and this is a brand new feature which is supposed to come on the Galaxy Watch 7 series and kudos to Samsung for making this feature available on the predecessors of the Galaxy Watch 7 series just a day before the launch of the Galaxy Watch 7 series. Now you can see it says the blood pressure app, ECG app and sleep apnea feature are a CE marked medical device. Availability of the sleep apnea feature may vary by country or region. Please check the country regions where the sleep apnea feature is available through the URL below. And then we have got the description of the feature, how it works. We have got the ECG, BP and sleep apnea. And it says the sleep apnea feature is an over-the-counter software only mobile medical application operating on a compatible Samsung Galaxy watch and phone. This feature is intended to detect signs of moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea in the form of significant breathing disruptions over a two night monitoring period. And this is for adult users 22 years or older. This feature is intended for on demand use. This feature is not intended for users who have previously been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Users should not use this feature to replace traditional methods of diagnosis and treatment by a qualified clinician. The data provided by this feature are also not intended to assist clinicians in diagnosing sleep disorders. So you have to read this properly and understand what exactly this feature is all about. This is very, very important to know. Now let's go ahead and update the application. It asks me, are you 18 years or older? I'll tap on yes. It's about 84.73 MB update. And let me also show you the latest version here. The latest version is 1.3.2.016. And the update is received on 9 July 2024, which is just a day before the launch of Galaxy Watch 7 series. Now let me just go ahead and open the application here. It is still saying the update is available. Let me tap on OK and let me update the application. This is about 15.96 MB of update. Now after updating the application, let's check out if the uh, new feature is showing up here. You can see we do not see the sleep apnea tab or the option here on the application on the phone. It only shows blood pressure and ECG. We are supposed to get this feature on the mobile application as well. Let's also check this out on the watch. You see here again it shows uh, blood pressure and ECG. The sleep apnea feature is not yet active on the uh, predecessors of the Galaxy Watch 7 series. Now maybe after the launch of the Galaxy Watch 7 series, we will be able to uh, see this feature. We may get another update for the app or it may get automatically updated. Let's wait and see that. But this definitely confirms that the sleep apnea feature is coming to the Galaxy Watch 6 series, 5 series, as well as 4 series. This update is available for all these three watches and we will be able to make use of this feature effectively in the coming days. Now you can see on this screenshot, it shows how this feature works. On your watch or phone, open the Samsung Health Man Monitor application, tap sleep apnea, then turn on the feature. Wear your watch snuggy on your wrist while you sleep. If you sleep for at least four hours, your watch will complete a first night of measuring. Your watch will track how many relative decreases in blood oxygen you have during sleep and check to see whether it is enough to indicate moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. After two nights of measuring are complete, you will get a result and the sleep apnea feature will turn off automatically. Now this is exactly how this feature works. Once we get this update, I will keep you guys posted about this. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also be posting a few videos about the Galaxy Watch 7 series and that is going to help you decide which one you should be buying and I'll also review the upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 series so uh, stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in this particular wallpaper I've left a link for that in the description you can go ahead and check it out and download it if you're interested every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper that's about it thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye